you're working with a client on a design for a series of townhomes on a large former factory site. The preliminary design will not fit into a regular reading of the zoning code. You should consider suggesting to the client that they should A, change the project to an industrial building, B, review the building code, C, contact the mayor, D, propose a PUD. Uh, so first of all, I love the idea of telling the owner they should consider dumping their uh, townhome concept to an industrial building. Uh, while that would make sense from the reading of the zoning code, uh, essentially does not make sense for a client. So uh, that's, you know, nobody's going to approach you for townhomes and then you're going to say, oh, why don't we make it an industrial building? And then they'll say, yeah, good idea, and then walk away. Like, that's just not how it's going to go. Uh, so that's just not the reasonable answer. How about review the building code? Well, I absolutely suggest you review the building code, but that is also not a reasonable answer. It doesn't really answer any of the questions that need to be answered that are posed by this question. So then you have contact the mayor, uh, and that's actually not a bad, it wouldn't necessarily be the mayor, it might be the zoning official or somebody like that, but essentially what that person would tell you is D, propose a PUD. A PUD is a planned unit development some places call them PDs, planned developments, but I believe that uh, the, the exam use, uses PUD uh, for its terminology. So a planned unit development is a very sort of interesting idea. It's essentially, uh, you know, I have a client, they want to do a project, and uh, the project they want to do makes a lot of sense. It makes sense for the client, but it also possibly makes sense for the community. Maybe it's a good idea for the city. Uh, you know, maybe there's just no industry that's going to be moving back onto that piece of land. And so it doesn't really make sense to build an industrial building that there's no industry is going to move into. So what you might do in that situation is essentially propose your own zoning code for that site. So you would, the whole process is a little complicated, but essentially you would go into the zoning department uh, you'd say, look, this is what we want to do. They would tell you all the things that they would be concerned about uh, and give you a sort of preliminary idea whether it was plausible or not. Uh, you and the client would then hire a bunch of people who are uh, like zoning lawyers and uh, people who can do marketing analysis and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and you would essentially write, not probably you, the z zoning lawyer would write, uh, but you would supply maybe uh, diagrams for and things like that, uh, you would write a section of the zoning code and you would write all your own issues, like how big the streets need to be, how big, uh, you know, where will the stormwater go, uh, you know, all of those, how often will be, there be street lights. Uh, all of those kinds of zoning issues uh, you would sort of put into this code that you would write. You'd then give that back to the zoning department the zoning department then would review it, maybe ask you to make some changes, mm -hmm. and eventually, if they if they think it sort of seems reasonable, they don't get to say uh, yes, go ahead, but they do be, get to to be able to give it to the government, so your city council or town manager or whatever city kind of city government you have, uh, and then that town manager or that city council can review it, maybe they have their own set of changes, it might go back and forth a couple of times, but eventually if, if they like it, they will vote it in. And the reason they have to vote it in is because you are literally changing the zoning code. And the code is a law, it's a thing that has to be passed like any other uh, code or law. And if you're gonna change it, it has to be changed by them. That's why it can't be done by the zoning officials. They're important because they're the ones who are giving information to the city council, but the city council has to actually vote it in. So this seems like kind of a, like a, a peculiar and sort of uh, um, like why would this ever come up kind of thing, but it's actually kind of an important concept and it definitely does show up on the exam pretty frequently. Uh, and the reason it's an important concept is because the zoning codes, they do their damnedest. You know, zoning codes are written and it takes a long time to write and, and you know, the economy changes by the time it gets produced and it's now 20 years later and everything's a little different. And so they're always looking for ways to kind of keep things up to date. And if they can shoulder that off to the client, uh, that's great. And then the client pays for all the lawyers and does all that stuff. Um, 
but there's a clear process and you have a sort of a clear thing and there's a, a moment there for the client to get what they want and there's a moment for the city council to make sure that the city gets what it wants. Uh, and so it's a very useful setup. You start looking through zoning maps, you'll see a version of PUD or PD all over the place. Uh, and it happens all the time in most of the, especially major cities, but even small towns.